This is ultimately a story about love and hope. It's a story about a family's love for a young girl, Caitlin, who is suffering. And it's a story about the way in which their love has compelled them to find the very best research for the very best treatments that she can enjoy. And it's led them to make a gift here to the University of Sydney of $33.7 million, the largest gift to research in the history of the university and one of the largest gifts to research in the history of Australia. Our interest in the subject came as a result of our granddaughter Caitlin's childhood epilepsy condition known as Dravet syndrome and our son's Michael's research revealing alleged benefits from medicinal cannabis. Uh, Caitlin appears to be able to, uh, along with many others around the world, uh, to benefit from the therapeutic potential of medical cannabis. In November of last year, Ian, Nick and I were invited by Lucy Haslam to speak at the inaugural Australian Medical Cannabis Symposium in Tamworth. We heard of the plight of Caitlin, Michael's daughter, and her rare form of epilepsy that cannot be controlled by modern medicine. When the three of us gave our lectures at the symposium, Michael Lambert, sitting in the audience, looking for a way to untangle the many issues um, around medical cannabis, he heard our call and he thought he might be able to help. This gift will allow us to explore one of the most exciting frontiers in biomedical science, the cannabinoid system of the brain and body. Although cannabis is one of the most ancient of medicines and has been used for thousands of years for many different diseases, our deep scientific understanding of the plant is still at a very early stage. The Lambert Initiative will provide national and international leadership in this incredibly important and exciting task. The vision shared between the Lamberts and with my colleagues here at the, at the university is to better understand the role of cannabinoids in treating different medical conditions, to one day have a regulatory framework in New South Wales and Australia that allows patients to legally access cannabinoid medications that have been proven to be safe and effective, to work with industry and with government to secure a supply of medicinal cannabinoids that is safe, reliable and affordable, and to assist consumers and health professionals to better understand how to use these new med medicines safely and effectively. This is a great day of thanks, uh, and it's thanks in particular uh, to Barry and Joy. Uh, Barry and Joy are people uh, like anyone else, uh, but what they have done today is responded in an incredible way uh, with the most generous thing I think I have ever seen. As a simple message to those who receive this incredible act of generosity, uh, go forth. Uh, make a difference. So congratulations to the work you're going to do. Uh, thank you Barry and Joy uh, for this incredible act. Uh, we'll be forever in your gratitude. Thank you.